Wash me, gracious Lord, by John Macduff from Evening Incense, 1856. O oh my God, I desire to approach the footstool of your throne of grace. Glory be to your holy name that I can enjoy freedom of access into your presence and with the confidence of your child, unburden and unbosom to you, all my needs and sins, all my sorrows and infirmities, all my perplexities and cares. Lord, how unworthy I am of the least of all your mercies. What righteous cause have you to cut me down as a cumberer of the ground? How cold my love, how infrequent my prayers! How full is my heart of pride and vain glory, self and sin! How little have I habitually realized your nearness and sought your favor as my chief good! There is enough of coldness and formality in my best approaches to your footstool to lead you in your wrath to spurn me forever away. Let me see all my sin in the light of Calvary's cross. I cast myself as a worthless, unworthy sinner at the feet of Jesus. I need daily, hourly washing at that fountain which he has opened for sin and for uncleanness. Wash me, gracious Lord, fully, freely, and forever. Let me know the blessedness of no condemnation. I come with all the great burden of my great guilt to my great Savior. I seek to bring the unrighteousness of an unworthy creature to the infinite righteousness and everlasting faithfulness of my loving Redeemer. You have borne with all my obstinacy, all my perverseness and waywardness and ingratitude. I am at this hour the monument of a divine love as wondrous as it is undeserved. Where would I have been, blessed Jesus, but for you? All that I am and all I have I owe to your free, sovereign, unmerited grace. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none in all the earth I desire besides you. You alone can fill up the aching voids of my heart. In vain can I look to a transient world or to the perishable creature for solid peace and permanent enjoyment. You are the only refuge for my sin-stricken, woe-worn spirit. I rejoice in the inexhaustible riches treasured up in you, that your fullness is adequate to supply all my necessities, and out of that fullness I may still continue receiving, and that for ever and ever.